Hey folks, Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, that's what happens when a project is deposited on your lap that results in um, working 10 to 12 hour days for weeks on end. Anyway, the paycheck arrives, I'll feel better. Anyway, this uh, from Sierra Nevada. I've not done this one before. This is Ruthless Rye which is an IPA style, apparently one of their more aggressive ones. It's also a limited edition seasonal, which I've been hanging on to for a while. So I think it's one that's more routinely used in the uh, winter months, but I yeah, haven't gotten around to it until now, so it is what it is. This is often the case using my trusty dogfish head IPA glass, which is specially designed to maximize the IPA flavor. Wow. And that is indeed a pretty bold aroma. I mean, it is, is often the case, I'm educating myself as I go along with the uh, with the assorted beers and their ingredients. Now the rye is apparently um, something it, it stands up under pretty harsh conditions, you know, better shelf life, etc. So, you know, hence the name of the uh, Ruthless Rye, no doubt. But uh, this apparently is imbibed with uh, fruity citrus and herbal hop notes, balanced with the dry spiciness of the rye. Makes the beer aggressive yet comforting. Last couple of weeks, com comfort would be good. Anyway, gonna dive in. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you. Smooth. Which, um, it, it could be because it sat for a while. It could be that the hops settled down for a bit, but smooth does not mean bland flavor. I mean, the notes are definitely there. I mean, I'm detecting the, the hints of Touch of citrus, I mean, there there is an overall fruity note, but nothing is overpowering. It's actually very, uh, very drinkable. And, uh, I have to say, not a juicy, um, juicy tone to this thing. Nice in addition to being smooth, a nice dry mouthfeel. Very dry, I mean, delightfully dry, in fact. And what is the alcohol content on this? Hmm. 6.6% uh, alcohol by volume. So drinkable, but we could definitely sneak up on you. Well, I'm gonna take a little breather here and uh, give it do a really quick wrap up when I'm closer to the bottom. So catch you later. Well, final verdict on this one: definitely a thumbs up. Um. Excellent dry character. I mean, there, there's a light spiciness to it, but it's like everything else with the beer. I mean, you got your sort of fruit notes, a um, little bit of light citrus, but I mean, excellently balanced. I mean, nothing overpowers the other. It's just every, everything complements each other very effectively with this.
So def definitely a beer that I would recommend for uh, for robust consumption. Yeah, so until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.